Well, hey there, in this video we're gonna show you exactly how to create hand-drawn scribble animations to instantly upgrade your video's B-roll. First, we're gonna shoot some B-roll, and then we'll show you in post, within After Effects, how easy it is to add these animations to your videos. <laughs> So we're at our location, we're all set up. I'm shooting with the Ursa Mini Pro, Sigma 18 to 35 lens on here. The light isn't great, it's pretty overcast, but that gives us some nice moods. I might come back later tonight when we have a beautiful sunset that's gonna be happening right behind the cross. Uh, but for now, I'm using a lot of these like tall grass elements as foreground to kind of obscure the cross and give some depth of feel to each of the shots. Then we're gonna take this B-roll and we're gonna use it for our hand-drawn scribble animation video effect. We're gonna teach you how to do a hand-drawn video scribble effect five minutes or less. The third scribble might be the squiggliest. <laughs> All right, we're here in the studio now. We've shot our B-roll, and at this point, we're gonna jump inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects to add our squiggle animation effect and show you that it's not all that hard to accomplish, so let's do that right now. All right, so the first thing we're doing is we're importing footage onto our Premiere Pro timeline. And now you're gonna to wanna to command click or right click and then select replace with After Effects composition. This will open up After Effects on your computer and create the dynamic link between Premiere Pro and After Effects so that once we're done in After Effects with adding our squiggle line effect, we can send it back automatically to Premiere Pro for previewing and rendering and, and working with the remainder of our video. Now, once After Effects has opened, you're gonna wanna save the project to the project folder that you're working in. Give it a name so that you remember which one it is. Click Save. And now the first important thing you need to do is double click on the footage you've brought into After Effects. You'll notice the timeline shift from brown color to a greenish color. And what this is doing is signifying the change from a composition to a layer. And then click on Window in your navigation menu to make sure that you've got the Paint Tool selected. Once you've got the Paint Tool selected and opened on the bottom right corner of your screen or anywhere on your screen, make sure that your duration is set to single frame, not constant. When you're selecting your brush tool, choose between 10 and 20 for the brush size and keep your roundness and hardness percentage anywhere between 80 and 100, depending on your personal preference. Now it's time to draw the squiggle line effect. So the first thing you need to do is click and draw your first line. Then click Command and the right arrow to move forward a single frame and then draw your second line. Command, right arrow to go forward to the third frame, draw your third line. And the way this is gonna work is we're gonna draw a new squiggle for every single frame of our video. So in this case, each frame was shot 24 frames per second, so every second has 24 different frames. We like to keep our squiggle line technique effect lasting about a second to two seconds long. So that means we need to draw 25 to 50 individual lines to create our effect. So we'll draw a line in one frame, move forward another frame, draw another line, move forward another frame, draw another line, and so on. And when you're drawing your lines, you wanna make sure that each one is overlapping with the previous line so that your squiggle line effect motion is smooth 
and continuous and not choppy. So make sure each one is overlapping slightly and then just keep moving forward. Draw your line, overlapping with the previous line, command right arrow to the next frame and just go all the way around, outline the subject in your video footage. And by the time you've drawn an outline around the entire subject in your frame, you can go back to the beginning of the timeline, click play, and you can preview what you've created. And if you like it, great, click save, and that will then return the composition that you've created back into Premiere. Once back in Premiere, make sure to use I and O, the keyboard shortcuts to set your in and out, click on sequence in your navigation menu, and then render the in to out so that you can preview what you've created inside Premiere. And that's it, pretty simple. Now in this example, we've done the outline style for using our squiggle line effect, but there are a number of different ways that you can draw your squiggle lines. And so we wanna show you a couple of different styles right now. One of the reasons that I love this squiggle animation effect is it's subtle. I, I don't know about you, but when I first started doing videography, I remember discovering light leaks and lens flares, and I overused them to the nth degree because I thought that every single transition needed this super cool light leak and flare, and I overdid it. What I love about this effect is that while it can be overdone, it takes a lot of work to overdo. You can't just drag on a light leak on top of something and then just copy paste, copy paste. You have to draw every single one of the lines. And so it's unlikely that you're gonna overdo it. It's subtle and it's elegant. And what I also love is that it's a great way to upgrade the footage that you already have and demonstrate to any creatives that are watching, but also show the, the average person that's watching your videos, the extra attention to detail and care that you're putting in to your clips. You're not just capturing footage, but you're even going in and adding these simple motion graphics and that's the final reason that I love this effect. It is simple. I don't, I don't consider myself an expert animator or motion designer at all, but even I can accomplish this. And hopefully after watching this tutorial, so can you. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up to show that you did enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.